Wake up, y'all. It's time to go fishing. I'm Donald James, the Third Coast Cowboy, and you're watching Third Coast Cowboy TV. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Donald James here, the Third Coast Cowboy, and you're watching Third Coast Cowboy TV. We're gonna, at San Luis Pass here on the Galveston Island, west side, and I'm about to paddle out two lines. I've got one that's gonna go about 150 yards, one's gonna go about 250, and uh, we're trying to get some reds, and we're also trying to get a shark today. So that bigger one's got a mullet on it. I'll be dropping him a little bit deeper. So here we go. And uh, it's going to get a little exciting before we get back to shore. And uh, I'm going to learn a, a good lesson about uh, making sure my shore patrol knows how to help me out. Check it out. All right, let's pop the pops. So I just now got these little spider weights, the first time I've used them. Uh, the ones I've had no before way. have all been permanent fixtures. And these are right. designed to actually break Drop away when you start tugging on them. And uh, they wor worked successfully for us. It was a little strong in the current out here, and later on I had to go back to a heavier one, but they worked out pretty good. Yeah, well that's fine. That, all that this talking you're hearing me so doing is uh, to Heather back on the beach. I got my phone in my pocket and got the speaker on without having that thick mono on there so it allows you to play the fish longer but yeah we don't want to go out any farther than that anymore so I'll be in there in a second so as I started paddling back in I started having a conversation with Heather She's saying, hey, it looks like the lion's going out. Did you cross over? Did you get hooked on it? Anyway, as you're going to see, we talk about this a little bit. It's a little hard to hear what she has to say. But at the end, Did I catch it? you'll see what happens. It's very likely before I get in there, something could grab it. You'll be, you'll be the one doing the fishing. Is it going out? <laughs> All right, so we're heading back in. I'm getting a call from Heather that we might already have something on about our 100 yard offshore drop. So I'm gonna get back in there and we'll check it out right here on third coast cowboy tv so at this point i pretty much think yep i got something on that line and for some reason i decided to turn the camera off here and uh, we're going to do a quick jump to me breathing heavy oops amateur recorder well we just had some excitement as i was bringing the boat back in i couldn't kayak back in this thing started running and I tried to get to it, but I couldn't get to it fast enough. He took the whole line and ran off with it. So something big was on there. Oh, well. <laughs> Good times out here on Third Coast Cowboy TV, y'all. Yeah, baby. Let me just let y'all know that that fishing pole that just got spooled, that belonged to Heather's grandfather. He gave it to me about 27 years ago, and it was made in about 67. And we're still fishing with it today. So I'm about to paddle Let's back out and drop the bait again. I look over and this gentleman's been working his way towards where we're fishing. So I figure I better get out there and find out what's going on because he's hooked into happen. something. He's been fighting for quite right, some well, I'm time. I'm going to watch it from back there. And okay. We'll give you some time before I paddle out. I don't want to get in your way. Okay. Y'all going to go out fishing? Oh, I'm just going to paddle the bait out. Oh, are you? Okay. Yeah, I'll do about a 150 yard drop and oh, okay. about a 250 yard drop. We'll see okay. what happens. Where's the, how far else is the drop off out here? Do you know I don't know. I don't know. This okay. is this is my first venue or venture out here. So. Oh, okay. What do you got rig wise? Uh, I'd have a, 
I have a, like a red rig. It's a it's a hook with a, a sliding uh, uh, sand weight mm -hmm. to kind of hold it in place. And, uh, He's anxious. So this starts to look like it's going to be going on for a while. So we'll uh, give you the fast version, and uh, you get to see the results here in a minute. It's pretty fun to watch this. A little anxious to have to sit there and wait and uh, be a polite fisher friend and not take my bait out, but that shark was running back and forth, and we did not want him to, to lose it. He's a good guy. Am I making y'all dizzy yet with all that head movement with my camera? <laughs> Hang in there. We're just about there. All right. It's getting close. Out here on Galveston Island, Third Coast Cowboy TV. We've been horsing this thing for about 45 minutes. We've seen the shark. It's getting close. You can see right there. Exciting. So I'll tell you what's interesting about this is that, you know, I was going out there in San Luis Pass and I was dropping way out there, 150, 250 yards. He had just waded out. He probably wouldn't 60, 70 yards with his bait out there and uh, hooked into this monster. So I guess the moral to that story is, uh, you don't always have to be the farthest guy out to catch the biggest fish. <laughs> Oh, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. It's been a good fight. Great job. Want me to tail him for you? Let's see if he. Oh, looks like you got him. Well done. Woohoo! <laughs> It was a beautiful day out there at San Luis Pass. Caught himself a nice shark. We had a great day catching some other of the small fish. But y'all, thanks for sticking with us. I'm Donald James, the Third Coast Cowboy, and you're watching Third Coast Cowboy TV. Yeah, baby. Get to stepping in Texas time.